Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Rich here from Crash Course Hobbies, back again with the third and final uh, Pro Acryl Signature Series Roundup video for Flameon Miniatures. And while this set isn't exactly the most exciting one in terms of color range, uh, being that it's basically five different brown hues uh, and a yellow, it's still uh, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and, and go over to the desk. We'll check it out and yeah, let's do that. All right, so we are back at the painting desk now. We're gonna take a look at what set uh, paints are inside the Flameon Miniatures Signature Series from Pro Acryl. Now I'll admit, when I saw these announced, um, these were not the colors that I was the most excited about. I mean, it's like all browns, <laughs> shades of brown. So it's kind of like, ah, oh, man, what am I gonna do with all of these browns? But the more I kind of look at it and um, think about the applications for the colors and where they fit into the range, the less disappointed I got. So I'm gonna start with the one that I'm least excited for, probably, and that's orange brown. Um, it would be like an, a really great, you know, leather highlight color, uh, pre-mixed. Um, you know, you could use it for lots of kind of stuff like that, but it is a really good um, fit for in between the golden brown color, which is uh, an MVP of mine uh, from the original range. I use this one quite a bit. And so I could see these kind of marrying together really nicely. Um, but it's just a solid uh, lighter brown, which literally up until this point, this is the only other light brown that Pro Girl had. So it is something that they needed. And so I'm glad that they incorporated that in. Next, this is one that I'm actually super stoked on, um, the Bright Yellow Ochre. Now again, in my other top 10 uh, Pro Acryl video, I talked about how Yellow Ochre for me is a legit MVP paint. I find that it is an amazing base for yellows. Uh, it's just, it covers amazing on a color that's consistently very difficult to get a good coverage with. And so by having a ready to go highlight color for that, I feel like this is gonna be super awesome. And again, it also kind of fills in uh, to that lighter brown uh, again where you kind of you could fit these almost in like a nice triad so uh, stoked to have that one as an option so next we've got a couple of other browns and flameon's like totally into these browns we got a caramel brown which again uh is a lighter one with the dark green brown and then the dark orange brown so browns all around um pro Krill up until this set released had seven browns in the range um, so, I mean, they definitely, I guess, needed more, but it's just a lot of brown in one go. So I'm not, you know, super stoked on those, but the one that I'm really, really excited about is Bright Pale Yellow, because up until now, Pale Yellow has been my number one most used go-to highlight mix-in. Um, sometimes I'll use Ivory, but um, I find that Pale Yellow just makes the color saturation stay a lot better in just about any other color that I'm using. And so I'm interested to see how bright pale yellow is gonna compare in terms of being you know, a better highlight option. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna work out. So let's crack these open and throw them on the palette and maybe get a better feel for what we've got going on here. All right, so first one we're gonna look at is dark orange brown. And it's fantastic coverage. This one coat just slapped onto an unprimed base, so that's fantastic. Um, it is a nice color, and I could definitely see this as being a nice base for you know, bows, staffs, uh, leather stuff. I mean, you name it. It's a nice dark, like mustardy kind of brown. So it's brown. What do you want from me? All right, I just want to check this out. Let's check out Bright Pale Yellow, because that's the one that I'm most excited about. And we'll even throw it on there next to Pale Yellow. Now, one thing I also noticed about Pale Yellow is that it's thick for a Pro Acryl paint. And I've shaken it up on my Vortexer. I've added extra mixing balls in there. It's not um, that it isn't mixed up or anything. It's just like you see it come out of the bottle. It's a little bit thicker than some of the other uh, Pro Acryl paints in terms of like, you can actually see like it kind of, it's kind of globby. Whereas this is, you know, liquidy and thin like their other paints are. So you see in terms of how much lighter of a color it is, here's pale yellow out of the pot. 
and here's bright pale yellow. So it's definitely a little bit more of a whiter yellow, but the difference is pretty minimal. Um, yeah, it's definitely like a lighter yellow, whereas pale yellow is like a, a true pale yellow, and this is pushing like an ivory. I'm gonna throw bright ivory next to it and just see how that compares. I'm a sucker for these colors. One of my favorite colors to paint is like off-white, canvasy kind of. So cool. So yeah, if you look at here's like a uh, triad of pale yellow, bright pale yellow, and bright ivory. Um, so it, it just to give you kind of an idea of where it fits in. The bright pale yellow is kind of right in between in terms of how yellow it is. The uh, bright ivory is like almost white. Pale yellow, bright pale yellow is, you know, a white yellow. And then you've got your regular pale yellow. It's actually pretty yellow. So I feel like that could actually be a, a pretty sweet highlight color to mix in. And just because that's the color I'm most excited about in this, I'm going to do a quick test with the new um, dark turquoise. And let's just do like a little triad test. So here's straight out of the bottle dark turquoise. And now let's do dark turquoise with a little pale yellow mixed in. I got a big old glob of water on that first one. Okay, and then try it with the bright pale yellow. So you can see here we've got regular dark turquoise dark turquoise with pale yellow, dark turquoise with bright pale yellow. So it's a little bit more desaturated, a um, little bit lighter sky bluish versus, you know, kind of like the brighter turquoise here. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. But overall, I'd say performance wise, they're not that different. So if you already have pale yellow, it may not be that worth it to pick up bright pale yellow. Um, but I'm still happy to have them. So booyah. I'm not a scientist, I'm not goobs, so I don't know how scientific all of this stuff is gonna be. Let's check out dark green brown. The most exciting color ever made. Looks like poop. In the nicest way, looks like poop. All right, let's see what poop brown looks like, one coat. So it covers well. Looks like poop. So there you have it guys. Uh, again, it's not the most exciting box, but it does still fill out some of the gaps in the range. And there's a couple of colors in there that I definitely would pick up. So whether you wait for the singles to be available or you just go full completionist and pick those up, either way, uh, you can use code CCH10 at checkout to support me as well as save a bit of money on some stuff you pick up from Monument. Um, like I said before, you know, I'm not paid or sponsored to make any of this stuff from them. I just genuinely like Pro Acryl and want to do my part to kind of support them as best that I can with my small, like, humble platform that, that I have here. Uh, I'd love to see you guys stick around, join the family, uh, subscribe, do everything you do to support your favorite creators, and continue to support your local hobby shops when you can. Stay positive, encourage the community, and as always, again, thank you so much for watching.